Uh, next on Netflix, there's a great little trailer, a little sizzle reel, if you will, yeah. that came out for all the 2024 content that Netflix is going to be churning out for you. Didn't see a lot of Christmas movies in there, so I'm not super plus. Christmas movies. Yeah. Christmas movies. But there is a lot of tasty content in here that looks really great. And to be fair, that's what a sizzle package is supposed to do. Sure. It's supposed to get you excited. But there's some fun things in here. What were some things you guys like? Every well, first of all, everything looked high quality in the sizzle reel. Like I, oh, it looked yeah. like all, even the shows that they showed in this uh, reel looked like they were meant for the theater. Like just the shot, like the quality wise. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but I just thought, wow, there's not one of these things that I don't see on a big screen. Even like definitely the shows doesn't that they have showed. streaming budget yeah. smell to it, right? Yeah, yeah, like they they cleaned it up really well. I unfortunately for Netflix, a lot of their big titles aren't of interest to me. I'm sorry. Well, you they kind of I mean? earned that because a yeah. lot of times they've released things and it's like, well, that was a dud. I was never yeah. a Beverly Hills Cop guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love Eddie Murphy, but that just wasn't uh, sort of my thing. I, I am I am interested in the three body problem. Is that three what it is? Three body problem, yes. And I hate to say it, but that Jennifer Lopez Atlas with the ship in space, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna read up more about that. You're a you space know. guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's your jam. And then the su uh, squid. I keep trying to squid call game. it su suicide game, but it's it's basically squid, squid yeah. game. I never season saw two. the first season. All right. Ooh. So the hype around that, who p people watched the first season, mm -hmm. must be crazy. Oh, yeah. You know, I, uh, so I got to go back and watch that. I yeah. feel like that's why that's a decided mic drop moment in yeah, this movie. Yeah, and it, around, didn't, it, it right? didn't hit. It was me. like the final, yeah. one of the final shots. Yeah, for they sure. saved that for the final ending. I was like, I wish I was on this train right now. I'm, I'm with you, Ray. I, I, bailed on that show just because some of the violence in it. I went, oh, oh really? I can't watch so this. So you gave it a shot. Um, I started to watch it, and then there were some my things and things. I went, I'll come back to this at some point, and I never did, and yeah. I missed all the hype on it. Yeah, okay. Um, so I had that moment, too. What else did you guys find? Uh... Well, this one I'm kind of looking forward to, uh, Griselda. <gasps> yeah. Because is this that is, a she's like a, uh, yeah, yeah, this is where she's a, uh, almost like a narco boss, you know okay. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, we were talking about it briefly yesterday. I only have hope in this because how well Netflix has treated Narcos and Narcos Mexico. Yeah. Those are some of their best contents. I, I put that in their top 10 content, you know? So I'm hoping they kind of give this that same treatment. Yeah. You know? And this is kind of a role that Sophia doesn't normally go for, right? Absolutely. So Based on a true and story. She, mm -hmm. Based on a true story, it looks like she absolutely fully commits to this too yeah. and just is the absolute boss in this. Mm -hmm. Which is very, very powerful. I mean, I'm a fan. Exciting. I know John is not a fan, but yeah! th this is kind of funny. Final season, I didn't realize that. So they stopped milking it. Mm -hmm. I'm actually like two seasons behind, even though I oh, really what? like what it. What is this? Cobra Kai. Okay. And so final season, that's always good for, you know, yeah. some cheap laughs. And know, I, 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 I. A couple final seasons happen. Yeah, yeah because. Yeah. Umbrella Academy. Umbrella yeah. Academy. Yeah. I think, I think that's proven itself to be quality. Absolutely. So I'm not so worried about that. Um, then we have the Beverly Hills Cop. Now I know Ray had mentioned he's doesn't really he's not really into that lore. I'll lore, watch it, lore of yeah. like the buddy cop, yeah, whatever. Watch, but yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just not. That's just not my thing. Yeah, if you're not into like the lethal weapons and and, and Beverly Hills Cops thing, which is funny yeah. because all the ones I have seen, I I didn't think were bad. I actually thought, hey, that's not a bad film. But it was never enough. That yeah. genre is never enough for me to f keep I, following it. I sure. will say that. Although it's all member berries, it's all this guy, this guy, this woman, this mm -hmm. person. For some reason, on Axel Foley, on Beverly Hills Cop, I give it a full pass because we panned it on Ghostbusters. But I don't know why. But maybe I just give it a, I just give it a pass. I just kind of want to revisit these characters. That's fair. I got so excited in Ghostbusters of seeing everybody. I, I didn't like, mind it as yeah. much either. Ray was borderline angry. Oh, really? And and you John were mad was, when Pencil Dick showed up in the trailer. No. John didn't like it. Oh, I loved it. But there's no. The only thing I, I I just wish they just laid more heavily into the new Ghostbusters that we fair that uh, that I actually like the McKenna Grace character. They a may lot. do that yeah. more for like a part three if they get. Yeah, part three. sure. Her her wittiness in that first one, I was like. Have her in everything, every she's movie. Great. Doesn't and matter. And she did what... the the song at the end of the movie. Oh yeah, yeah. She's a little multi talented lady. But then yeah. But anyways, we're getting yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. But uh, also, I mean, we've all talked about three body problem. I know you and Rob have yes. kind of. There's a big mystery about that. Mm -hmm. I I don't want to read too much into it because I want the show to tell me what it's about. Yeah. Because I I it's like a it's like a 
sort of like a supernatural or like a sci-fi a- alien. Yeah, sci-fi yeah, thing, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's well, uh, that's yeah. This is one too. So this is based on a book, and this is one that I'm going to wait on the book till after the series because my friends who have read it too have said they have no idea how this got adapted. Where it was, this feels like something that's going to be so difficult to put on screen. So and you're going to watch the first, then if you like so, it yeah, enough, you'll I want to watch that. it first. That's usually my way of everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then I would say, you know, I don't know anything about like black doves. It does just from like the few seconds we got, it has a feel of maybe a slow horses kind of thing from yeah. Apple TV. It feels like Netflix is kind of now competing with Apple TV. Yep. I would agree with that too. On in this their one. color palette, in their editing, yeah, in their yeah, story that, choices. Other than that exactly production like value. Happened. Yep. Um, love Kira Knightley. So excited um, for anything she's doing. Obviously, you know, we're all big fans of uh, Glenn Howard. Glenn. Now, but now, and Hitman. Or now, Glenn this Powell, could be really Glenn cool. Powell. But is this a gray man? Very different actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I didn't even know there's. <laughs> but is this a gray man situation, or we don't know because it's like it just shows us like a quick few seconds of a movie or a series, so yeah. we can't really judge it. I know we like the actor. It could be great. It could be gray man. Uh, yeah. Oh, it could be great. It could be gray man. <laughs> now I love what uh, what uh, uh, why am I drawing? Jason, Jason Bateman, Bateman has done with Netflix Ozark. Yes. If this is if they're carrying over that production quality that the production company I'm sure he's behind this carry on thing could be cool. Yeah. What is this? What is it? Is this? Are we looking so at something else now? All I know from this because this is one that I hadn't really seen anything from before. I know it's him. I know it is Taron Egerton who we all really like too. Right. right. Um. And so any anything that Jason Bateman does, I'm I'm pretty stoked about. Especially I like the potential of him being the shady character in this. Yes. Yeah. I like him being a or, villain. Is he a villain or, or is he just? No, it may just yeah. get work done. Who Let, knows? Let's. What's the title of that? Just uh, so carry on. Carry on. Like carry on. on. Okay, so yeah. that now the next one we're going on to. Okay, is... yeah, guys, we want to take a second. Thank a sponsor of this video. Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for $15 a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash Campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. The next one I think is the big one for Sold. all of us is Avatar. Yes. Avatar, Avatar the last and I'm so Avatar. hyped about this. Yeah. I'm yeah, so, so jealous. This. I mean, even this little shot we got here is more of his like personality, yes. his, you know, his character. Oh. Uh, you know, so uh and then you know. I, I'm a sucker for a good war, a good uh, not just a war like drama, but his, mm-hmm. historic drama. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. I mean, if it gets panned, then I might not check it out. And, but and so, what's this one called? It's just because this we're, is we're on a podcast. Six, so this people, is six, yeah. yeah, yeah. But this is six triple A. I got Ray's trying to remind me what show I'm on. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I'm just saying because, like, I'm just imagining if someone's well, listening. You're, you're aware because you can't see the screen. Oh, you're right, right. <laughs> uh, but six triple yeah. so A, and uh, we're talking about you know, I don't know the story for sure, like totally, no. but obviously it's. Women. It's a black regiment mm-hmm. of women in during World War II. Oh yeah, this actually looked interesting. So Carrie Washington I'm in, led. You know. Yeah. yeah. These these movies aren't my cup of tea, but okay. I'll definitely check it out. Yeah. Uh, just, what is it? Just the army part yeah, of it? Just the military. Yeah, military movies just really don't move the needle for me. Did you see the space program um, film with um? ISS. No, 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 no. no, no. With uh, uh, where they help um. The, the oh what's what's it called oh, keep going on that okay <laughs> sorry I, I... but but I loved it I loved the way you broke that down <laughs> sorry 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 uh, and then obviously you know Jenny from the block we got Atlas in Atlas I I am kind of surprised to see her in a move in a show or a movie like this yeah but okay but again we have no idea on like the premise really I mean. Just the snippets you can read about, and then and how good her hair looks. Yeah. I don't want to take away from J Lo's talent and artistry. Yeah, yeah I did. I did. I was thrown off by the curls. She stunning, stunning. I mean, I 
I've always loved her since Selena. I've really I've loved her since she was a fly girl. Mm, so right. I usually tune into stuff okay, that Jennifer good, Lopez good, does. Good. Well, the movie I was talking about was Hidden Figures. <gasps> Hidden Figures. Oh, oh I love okay, that yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like I like I, stuff that's behind the scenes and about the science and mathematics right, and things. Right. Probably what other people I'm think I'm hoping is it's that, that the movie we're just talking about, so, uh, Six Triple... What was it Six Triple Eight? Was that what it was? Yeah, well, yeah. it would be in like sort of the same vein about uh, breaking out of the... The, the 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 mold or whatever yeah. it, it, achieving things Hopefully. you know what i mean yeah yeah um and then the last three here that i got is eric with uh mr cumberbatch benny cumberbatch oh. again the cinematography Don't looks great yeah. uh, he's a great actor um eric is an up upcoming television series made for the streaming and netflix uh the script was written by abby morgan lucy forbes directing but it doesn't give me a synopsis so it's Again, just one of those mystery thrillers that they're not telling us too much about. Yeah. But he's a great actor. He's an amazing actor. And so I we'll love a suspenseful film or you TV know, show. I used to kind of lean on, well, they've always done great content. I'll just trust it. But And also all but the then, Eric's. But, but then my problem right. is I said that with Michael Fassbender too many times. Oh, right. Yeah. So I don't do that anymore. I Their movies are pretty hit or miss for me, but their TV shows are yeah. the ones that usually get me. Because final season of Umbrella Academy, I'm here for it. That show was a slow burn for me because I watched, read the comics. Yeah. They've done a really great job adapting them, though. So it makes sense it's the final season. Um, Sweet Tooth is another show that I think way too many people have slept on, and I love Sweet Tooth. Final season for that. What is um, that about? I think you would actually really like it. Is Ray. it really about candy? No, it's just this kid's name nickname is Sweet Tooth because he loves sweets so much. Oh. Um, all of a sudden, there are all these hybrid children born of normal parents, like hybrid, hybrid children, human animal hybrids, wow. and then like they start getting hunted down and stuff. Oh. Um, but these kids like band together and they're Sounds really like a amazing. New mutants kind of thing. Yeah, and the the lead kid, Sweet Tooth, was the uh, kid in Cocaine Bear who okay. does the like that would change a man. Um, he is <laughs> wonderful. And then this is also I don't think you guys are into this, but I do love the show. It's a new season of Bridgerton, y'all. Okay, so I did see that. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't realize the tone was kind of like a dry humor. Yeah, or was that times, just what they showed us in in the trailer? A lot of times you get that. It is. It feels like that Regency era kind of thing where it is some dry humor mixed yeah. in with all the unrequited love, yeah, 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 depending yeah. on the kind of story they're doing too. Season one is, I mean, just real horny, y'all. It's a lot of nudity. It's a lot of crazy sex. Season two is more of that um, enemies to lovers kind of thing mm. where it's more like hands grazing. Oh my gosh, who flushed in the face. <laughs> and then this latest one, um, I don't wanna spoil the show for anybody, but our gal here who was featured, she's been causing some kerfuffle in the tongue. So All right. it's gonna be interesting. All right. At least and then, to me. And then the last couple of things that popped up uh, were, um, Unfrosted the Pop Tart story. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah. I'll tell this you. This is the one. These shows like the things about like the movie like about Tetris or mm -hmm. uh, this is the one. Uh, or like a McDonald's, like the founder, or any of this stuff. Anything with food the, for me. The especially. what is it? The uh flaming hot. Flaming hot. Flaming hot. I, I I'm excited and come on, man. It's Seinfeld. Yeah, Seinfeld has been working on this for a yeah. while, I think. This was we've we've talked about this Pop Tart movie for a long it's time. It's been a minute. Yeah. yeah. I remember making like a, a graphics with everyone that's supposed to be in it. Me having a hard time because there's so many stars in it that I had to cut out <laughs> and put in the photo and match the colors. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait. To is see this, this gonna be charming like Flaming Hot though, or is this gonna be like Beanie Bubble? I oh, I never saw Beanie Bubble. Exactly. It's just because I forgot yeah, I about think... it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you, you actually were in the right for that. So. Yeah. And then of course, Squid Game Squid season game. two. There we go. So he's coming to get you. I will find you. Mm -hmm. I up will the find you. Business. Yeah. Giving his no best idea. nod. All I know is is, is, is his hair always that color? No. In the mm -hmm. season one, was no. it that color? No. Okay. That's just, all I can ask or say about it. Which, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie, when it first opened, too, because of that pink hair, I was like, ooh, which live action anime adaptation are we doing now? Oh. But, uh, this is his, his oh. business hair. He's yeah. coming to yeah, find yeah, hey, I love now. it. When you're coming yeah. to find someone, yeah. you put yeah. that hair on. That hair is amazing. Well, the so. police will spot you from a mile away, buddy. <laughs> So those That's are what confidence. we got. You know? Those are our shows. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of good stuff on there. Again, it's just sort of hard. It's like they just show us little little tidbits. So yeah. it's like unless you're familiar with the content already, you can't really give it a great judgment no, on no, some of these but, things. It's like I have no idea. Hey, hey, or not. But here, give them credit. Credit 
all of these things are possibly like done shooting, right? They're all ready to I go. I would say if it's a series, we rarely they get at least that from have anybody. To launch, yeah. You know? Yeah, we rarely get like product, like all these finished products are like ready to go and shown to Well, us, these like, will be for 2024. So some of these yeah. are not completed but yeah. for sure yeah. and also it uh the sizzle reel too alluded to the live uh shows we're going to be having this year on netflix as yeah. well so big things for this streaming service yeah yes, yes, yes. humble beginnings delivering us dvds and now they're gonna be streaming wrestling and having benedict cumberbatch oh yeah show. wrestling mm -hmm. wow we'll see if that stuff. works out still <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if they can get the live streaming to work didn't for love is blind but hey that's the show that you test run things on i think well wrestling has done live shows for for a long time yeah so they but netflix hasn't yeah they netflix, sometimes have yeah. a few technical issues well it looks like <laughs> a pretty good uh slate for them yeah i'm pretty pleased with it but uh you know proof is in the pudding we have to wait till these things come out to actually see if they are as good as they look in this reel yeah because netflix has done me wrong yeah i tell you absolutely so all right folks are you too cautiously optimistic about this lineup or are you in whole hog how are you feeling about netflix 2024 let us know how you feel in the comments all right. I don't like that thing that you just said. Whole in whole, whole hog. hog. Have you not heard whole hog before? No, I've never Is that heard just that. a southern thing? Uh, uh, Would you like me to say whole ass? I'm gonna whole please. ass it. Please. <laughs> not half ass it. Whole ass it. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today, so it'll be there when you need it.